no big shot Valentine. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm Man. What's so funny? Nothing. Sorry about that. Break over. You ready, Miles? Yep. Come on out, shy guy. I'm right here. Oh, shit. Sorry, Miles. Didn't know you were there. Classic Miles. Okay. Head up. Chin down. Split the difference. Perfect. Smile, Miles. We got this, Miles. Don't be nervous. Hey, where are you? Okay, this will be super quick, but you need to see something. Got your message. Surprised? By the handwriting, yes. Didn't know your generation knew how. I have a keen interest in the ancient arts. So that's why you show up to my class. What do you think? Really? Okay, well, clearly it's beyond your comprehension. I was going to say the same thing to you. Pardon? Be honest. Is this a subject you feel strongly about, or did you choose it because it's a strong subject? Can't it be both? Succinctly. Are you content separating feeling from concept in your work merely to seek attention and recognition? Seek attention? Okay, teach. Class is over. You're mad at me. I just can't be witness to any more of your schoolyard form of flirtation. You're right. I'll drop the artistic rhetoric. I guess I still have a lot to learn. Lesson for tonight. I prefer red to white. One glass of red coming right up. Adjusting it because it was crooked? The symmetry was all off. Seer shows better without it. Oh, I see. You're a good friend, Sam. I try. Put it back, Sam. It's not fair. If she had her model sign release forms like I insist all my students do, then it's considered fair. But it's not debatable. Censorship of any kind has no place in the art world. You know that. But... Don't you have somewhere else to be? One mojito for my little bambino queen! I'm not ready. <laughs> no shit, bitch. <gasps> you busted. <sighs> Beat that face. Throw them sequins on that body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy! I can't breathe. Oh, sweetie. That flat as fuck chest of yours is moving up and down just fine. <sighs> Those bitches will throw serious shit and we're not on that stage in 30. 
is he's gonna help me tonight. At my school's grad show. <gasps> oh, she's so talented. Does she do glamour shots? This was taken in private. She saw she would never show anyone. It's a sign. Robbie, you can't keep hiding her in that sad little closet of yours. My brother will be there tonight. This is not how I wanted everyone to find out. Oh, how'd you convince Robbie to wear makeup? I didn't. Oh. Yeah. I'm fine. Really? Really. You want to talk about it? No. Because I'm a great listener, apparently. How long were you two together? Four years. I can't even imagine. He is who he is. I can't be mad at that. You can be a little mad. He dropped a pretty big bomb on you. I'm fine, Miriam. I guess the upside to it is you're an artist. You can use it. Just let that creativity ooze out of your open wounds. I live to express my angst. What's happening here exactly? Oh, it's for my piece. I call it Waiting for Papa. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mr. Silva. Brave. I admire him. Hmm, I don't think he knows. Pretty sure our sweet Izzy's gone off the deep end. All closeted drag queens beware. She needs to be careful. Love is blind. Or in her case, love is ignorant. But you know, her heart is bruised and beaten. She knows not what she does. While I respect her work, he deserves to do it on his own terms. I mean, I never hid who I was. I didn't understand why someone would. I am who I am, take it or leave it. But, yeah, I think that counts as coming out on my own terms. It took me a year to build up the nerve to tell my wife, ex-wife, I was by. But it didn't even faze her. She's pretty incredible, that one. But right now, I can't take my eyes off of you. Are you still in here? Family member, Carlos Montes. Julia Silva. Basso, I guess. It could be Julia Basso now. Ha, huh. never really thought about it. Divorce? Yeah. My ex-husband teaches here. Recent? Recent enough for me to be still in denial about staying friends, wondering every minute of every day what is he doing, suspecting he's fucking someone new, and showing up unannounced to events to try to catch him off guard. So is he fucking someone new? You tell me. Shit. Yep. I assume there is nothing worse than finding out that your husband is one of them. No, 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 no. Paul is a proud bisexual, and I support him on that. My problem is that his new boyfriend is much younger and prettier than me. <laughs> Sounds like you might need something stronger. Hmm. Oh, music. We need music. All right, let's go nuts. On three, give me your craziest face. One, two, three. Bigger, give me a lion. Roar. Okay, no music. Uh, close your eyes. I'm gonna say some words. Happy, childhood, laughter. Open your eyes. Forget that. 
Um, do me a favor. Imagine your mom. She. My mom died when I was two. Oh God. I am so sorry, Miles. I had no idea. Lose the chair. On your feet. I'd rather not. You're absolutely right. Sitting is better. Give me a hand on the hip. Let's take a break. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. It probably is. I have no idea what I'm doing. Me neither. This is why I stick to landscapes and inanimate objects. <laughs> so my failure makes you laugh. It's kind of funny what you said just now about inanimate objects because I've always considered myself one. So technically it should be easy for you to photograph me. What? <laughs> Let's be honest. I blend well with the background. Not like you. People notice you. Your work is minimalistic but alive. I imagine seeing through your eyes must be like seeing an alternate universe. Yeah, yeah, it's exhausting. And you don't blend in. You sit back, observe. You have a lot to say, but you save it for your art. I admire that. You should go back. Enjoy your grad show. You should stop by later. I paint self-portraits because I'm so often alone. Because I'm the person I know best. Frida Kahlo? Your work lacks a through line. It lacks passion, as if someone else painted you. Okay, I get it. I'm so pathetic, I had to pay you to paint me. You're talented, and I'm shit. Happy? Wow, I am so sorry. Are you kidding? It was awesome. Feels good, doesn't it? Maybe. A little. What are you doing here? Don't worry, I'm a friend of Izzy's. Just came to see what I'm missing out on. Talented or not, not everyone can afford fancy as art school. Fucking brilliant! It was brilliant! The dress, the steps, the singing. Oh. I'm so proud of you. That felt amazing. It was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You need to go to your grad show. No. I, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. You have to. She doesn't understand what she's taking away from you. You have to take it back. The world is ready to meet. What did you call her? Roberta. Oh, hell no, bitch. The world is ready to meet. Rosie. Rosie. Uh-huh. 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 Rosie. Rosie Cheeks. Dear Papa, when you left, you took my innocence with you. Robbing me of my childhood. Why, Papa? Where is the food to feed our hungry bellies? The soap to wash our dirty feet? I will wait for you. Right here, at my window. I will wait for you, Papa. Bravo, bravo. Dad, go away. You're ruining the essence of my beast. Oh, OK. I'm so proud of you, honey. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Now go away. That's my daughter. Your accent's great, sweetie. Shh, I gotta go. When will you return? Papa, can you hear me? What's your deal paying for black market self-portraits? It's twisted. I love it. I can't paint. No shit. I hate art. 
I graduated high school two years early. 4.5 GPA. Ever since I can remember, all I wanted to be was a lawyer. Hold up, this is getting really real. I need to have your name before we go any deeper into your psyche. Barry Smith. Barry Smith. Attorney at law. Yeah, I can see that now. It's short for Huckleberry Starchild Guggenheim Smith. <laughs> That's special. How am I supposed to live up to a name like that? My parents are these magical nymph-like hippies who live off the earth, swim with the orcas, and literally shit out award-winning art. My mother gave birth to me in the water of the Kachong Falls in Cambodia. She thinks it's my destiny to carry on their legacy, to change the world through art. You were born in a waterfall in Cambodia? I'm terrified of disappointing my parents, so I went with the safe choice, to be an artist. So technically, does that make you half Cambodian? You're right. I can't live this lie anymore. They need to know. I'm not an artist. I never will be. I'm a lawyer. Come with me. Oh no, honey. They ain't ready for this cheesecake. <laughs> Gotta rip the band-aid off, right? Yas. But you are the band-aid. I'm a full on Brazilian wax, honey. I need you. Okay. My pequeña reina. <laughs> Your fairy drag mother I shall be. Thank you. <laughs> Are you tucked in nice and tight like I touch you? Yes, mama. Hello? <gasps> Shit, sorry, I'm just looking for it. You look so fucking beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make her cry. <laughs> Makeup takes hours. Huh. No tears. <clears throat> oh, uh. this is Sam. And this <laughs> is Sam. Selena. Mucho gusto. Pleasure. <laughs> My mentor. Mm. What would your drag name be? Mine would be the Sire de Verste. Do you know him? Her him. That's a man. He's my brother. Safe to assume this was a surprise to you tonight. He doesn't even have the balls to show up. At the risk of making you angry, running, cutting off my supplies of free whiskey? I just have to say, the confusion you are feeling right now is likely the confusion he's been living for probably the majority of his life. I didn't lecture you on why your husband prefers fucking dudes instead of you. Don't lecture me on why my brother wears dresses. I tried to take it down, but... Oh, it's okay. It's not. She doesn't get it. How could she? Does she ever have to ask herself, who am I? Who will love me? How do I love myself? I mean, I understand it's a huge shock to her, but you shouldn't be punished for finally opening up to her. How does someone love you for this long and then refuse to see you for who you really are? Look at me. You deserve to be seen. I see you. You deserve to be loved. I love you. Okay, okay, everybody loves everybody. <laughs> We're all a big misfit family. <laughs> now just give me a minute, honey. This is your day. You really are beautiful. Oh, my apologies, Izzy. Didn't realize this room was spoken for. No, I'll go. I just needed a minute. Can I help you with anything? No, I'm fine. Thanks. That bad, huh? Yeah, I get it. Graduation is never what you expect it to be. Doing this course is a little like falling in love. First year is a rush. Second, you find a routine. By the fourth, you find yourself considering other opportunities. You feel ready to move on. But when it's all coming to an end, you panic. It's scary. 
You convince yourself that you're not ready to leave, but it's inevitable. Izzy, you gotta know, life exists outside these walls. You have a beautiful mind, vision, and most importantly, drive. You won't know it until you do, but you'll be okay. You'll be great. I can't wait to see where you go from here. Thank you. Come back in when you're ready. Oh, uh, you're, cra are you okay? Uh, what the fuck? Yeah, I get it. I'm a fake. I'm a phony. I have no pain. I have no angst. I'm a well-off, young, talented woman with a great education. The most loving, adorable parents. An adorable little brother. An older sister who's my best friend. I have it all. I never cry. Not a tear, ever. I'll never be a true artist. Well, actually, you're crying, so that's... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. You'll never know how much this means to me. What you've done for me. Thank you. This is provocative. Such intensity. It's sad and mad. All at the same time. Yes, it is. Do you mind me asking what inspired you? It feels personal. It is. A close friend of mine. I'm sorry you hear that. Thank you. Thanks for coming, Julie. I'm glad I did. We have an incredible group of, of students here. Eres la desgracia de la familia. It's all yours, baby. Wait. I think you got this. San Lucas? Ah, chido. Veracruz. You and Robbie are brothers, right? <laughs> We were. I don't know what you call us now. Brothers. He's different now. Yeah, he is. He seems happy. I just can't understand how he lied to me for so long. Maybe he was protecting himself. Or you. We can all relate to that in some way. I just don't know how to talk to him. You'll figure it out. You'd be surprised how easy it is to talk to a drag queen. Bye, honey. <laughs> Enough 
never meant to hurt you. I thought I was okay, and, and then I wasn't. I still love you. And I never want to stop knowing you. Especially now. I think maybe I've just met the best part of you. <laughs> I'll always be here for you. This is it. Here's to graduation. I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm gonna miss you too. Maybe you don't have to. <laughs> to Nina, whose portfolio is obviously well received with a scholarship offer to join this house of crazy in the fall. To Huckleberry for finally accepting his offer to Harvard Law. And having friends worth fighting for. Here's to us. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>